In this presentation, we will generate, analyze, and print to a PDF file an income and expense graph within QuickBooks Pro 2019. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are in the home page. We currently have the open windows open. In order to open the open windows, you want to go to the view drop down and select the open windows list. We're now going to go to the graphs again, income and expense graph. These are reports and you can find them in the reports drop down. We're going to be going to the companies and financials section and you can find some of these graphs down in the company and financial, including the in income and expense graph. When I typically go to the graphs, because I'm in a visual type of mood, I typically like to go to the report center up top. So we're going to go to the report center and find this graph. The graphs will be in the standard tab. We're currently in the company and financials tab because this is going to be an income and expense. So it's kind of like an income statement type of graph. We are in the normal view rather than the list view. I think the normal view is nice when looking for graphs because it makes it nice and easy. We can just scroll down until we see something looking graph-like. And that was what we'll do. So we'll go to the graphs. They're typically going to be on the bottom of these types of reports. So if, if there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff, it's typically they're going to put the graph there on the bottom. So here is the graph. It's going to be an income and expense graph. I usually just like to run it and then change whatever needs to be changed in it. So here it is. Nothing's there. That's quite discouraging. Why is there nothing there? Probably because it's a date problem, date thing. Therefore, let's first try changing the dates up top with the dates button. Selecting the dates button, we're going to change dates to 010119022819. That's January 1st, 2019 to February 28th, 2019. And then we're going to select OK and we get our nice graph again so we've got the the bar graphs up top doesn't give us too much in-depth information i think the more interesting graphs are clearly going to be the pie charts down here so it's important for us to note once again what the pie chart means because we can give a pie chart and we're, someone may ask us an actual question about it uh, rather than us just having it in the in the powerpoint and we want to just make sure we have it here and possibly tie it into the financial statements remember that everything we make whether it be other reports or uh, graphs like this typically tie into the financial statements, the balance sheet and income statement in particular, balance sheet and profit and loss. Uh, so therefore, let's let's first think about this information. We currently have th this one down here is the uh, expense summary. So this is breaking out the expenses clearly. That's going to be part of the income statement. So if we go up top and we go to the reports, let's take a look at the income statement or the profit and loss. Go down to the company and financials and select the profit and loss standard report. Profit and loss standard. Changing the date range to the same range that our pie chart is on is 010119 to, or let's say 022819. That's January 1st, 2019 to February 28th, 2019. Looking at the expense items here, we have uh, total expenses here, 16,663.48. Let's see if that is in agreement in the open windows to our uh, graph. And here we've got 20,613. So that's the first thing we want to make sure that we understand here. So we're going to go back up to the profit and loss and say, hmm, what's going on there? Well, possibly we're, we have some subcategories on the expenses. And we have the expense here of the cost of goods sold, which is a component of the expense. And total expenses not including cost of goods sold because gross profit is a subtotal if we're a merchandising company. So let's we should be able to shore this up. It has to kind of work because we're using the same data here. So if we take the total expenses, 1663, 1663, <laughs> something's happening, 0.48 plus the cost of goods, which is 3950, we get 20,613.48, uh, our total expenses. And if we go back to our... Uh, open windows quickbooks graph and then we got the 20,613 so that looks good now this is going to be broken out in this case by just our expense categories with the expenses this is relevant this is really relevant to have the pie chart because we typically have a lot of expenses and this is similar to what we did when we did a ratio analysis and we tried to compare total expenses compared 
to, to total expenses with ratios, which can be useful, but a lot of people just don't understand ratios, and the visual would be a lot clearer. Here we can say, hmm, payroll, very substantial in comparison to total expenses. That's very clear with a pie chart. So the pie charts, uh, if represented well, can give you know a lot more information, give that visual type of information. So this is broken out by account. We've got, of course, uh, payroll, the largest cost of goods sold second. Now, if we just sold inventory, you would think cost of goods sold would be the largest, but we have, we're selling something other than just inventory, and therefore it's not. You would think that the cost of goods sold would be number one, and payroll would probably be like number two for most types of companies. Now, we can also take a look, look at this by, uh, by account. We can also take a look at it by customer. So if we take a look at this by customer, now it doesn't <laughs> doesn't work with the expense report, but when we go to the income report, we'll, we'll take a look at by customer, and then by class. We don't have uh, a lot of classes set up here. That's going to be a specialized kind of thing. We can set up to group the information by class. So let's go back by account. Our next option down here is to go to the income and expenses. So let's go to the income side now. So we'll go to income. Now the reason it defaults to the expenses is because kind of because income is less interesting here when we're just talking about income by account because usually income by account it, we don't have that lot of income accounts we might have just a couple income accounts. here we have three we have the service versus the merchandising rent and interest income and a lot of times most companies a lot of times will only have like one or two income accounts because that's all they do so the pie chart isn't going to tell us anything extraordinary typically if we only clearly if we only have one type of income account it's more interesting if we break the income out by customer so if we break it out by customer then we've got more more information in terms of where is that income coming from and we also have another report that we could have the sales report that'll break out a similar breakout by customer and break it out by item what type of rep where did our revenue come from in terms of items that we looked at in a prior presentation so the new thing that this report really has is, is the income by uh, account here and the expenses. And this is probably being the most interesting one here. So let's go ahead and save this now. So we'll, we'll print this as a PDF. And let's think about how we can save this data if we wanted to present it. So again, we'll go to our, our PowerPoint presentation. And if we pick up our PowerPoint presentation and put this information into it, we can do that by just adding a new slide. So I'm going to say, five, I'm in the Home tab, New Slide. And then again, I'm just going to clip this in there by using a screenshot, in essence. Go into Insert, go into the Images group, and Screenshot. And then I'll just take a clipping of it, however. The other way you can do it, note that if, if I just took this whole thing, I could take this whole thing and say, oh, that's, that's what I'll start with, and then start to break this, this down. And what I really want is just this information. So then we can go to the to the format and start cropping this. And say I want to crop this information. I'm here, there, crop. And then we'll bring it down to here. And then here. And here. And then click outside of it. And that's that's what we can have. And again, if we don't want this right next to each other, like say I want I want to move this and have a little bit more room to move this around, then we can crop the whole thing. I can say I want to crop this off, and I want to put my own title on it. I just want the colorful little pie chart there, and say OK. And then I can copy this and crop this one differently. I can crop this over here. This is where I want this key. So we'll pick up the key. On this side. So that's what we want there and now we can we can make this whatever we want. Also note that if you had a different color background you might say, well, that all, that's all nice, but what if I had a, a different color background? So if we went to, to the design and format here and we'd say it's a black background and I got these white things around it. And I don't, I don't like the white thing around my pie chart. Well, you, you could go to format here. We could go to the remove backgrounds format 
adjust, remove the background. And uh, hold on a second. Let's undo that. We want to be on this one. I'm going to be on this one. Format. Remove the background. And then I want to keep this area and just kind of color in where you want to keep it. You got to mess with this a little bit. But you can see that you can do that and then click outside of it somewhere. And it should give you give you that. Now you can make it a little bit nicer than that. But that's one way you can you can get this data in there, and then you can add, of course, your title by inserting a title. And this is uh, sales or expense graph, something like that. So that's one way you can you can use this data possibly outside of of QuickBooks, outside of just printing a report. So we'll go ahead and save that. We're gonna minimize this. The other way is, of course, to print it. I'm going to print it as a PDF file, so we're going to print it. It doesn't have the save feature. That's okay because I have a cute PDF printer. It's free. You can download it, and then we can just say, I'm going to print this item, and uh, we're going to put it into the Get Great Guitars Reports Section 4 folder, and we're going to call it an expense graph something like that and save that information and that's the most relevant we could go to, to save the customer graph as well but I think that's going to be the most relevant piece here so we will save just the expense graph for our uh, presentation for more accounting information and accounting courses visit our website at accountinginstruction.info